Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. It's Friday Night Flies. Take it away, Homer. Friday Night Flies, guys. Ah, uh, well, the boys have tied up a few shows tonight, and uh, I'm here. I'm a little bit late, so there I'm going to do my show, and then I think everybody's going fishing is the plan. The jet boat is already behind my truck. <laughs> The if jet that, boat that is behind you, your truck. I wish ready. I could say that. It's full of fuel. Yeah. Rods are in it. Nets in it. Yeah. And we plan on getting that net wet tonight. I just want to say the jet boat is behind my truck. That's all I want to say. <laughs> I'd be happy with that. Yeah. yeah, my jet boat is behind my truck. It's it's like, right I don't there. care if I have to fill it up full of gas, yes. put all the stuff in there. I just want to save that part. Good to go. Okay, well, I'm tying up a Zug Bug. Uh, it's a pretty old pattern. It's been around since the 30s tied originally by a man named Cliff Sugg and it was tied as a caddis, case caddis imitation. Um, but I've been fishing it a lot and I really, really like it. I really like this, the peacock sword, this stuff here. What's left of it? What's what's left of it? <laughs> yeah, I, I've extensively really like I got. I've been yeah. tying leeches with it, and I've been tying these these zug bugs. Not much sword in, left in various types and forms, but it, it's like it's it's an awesome pattern. Um, I, I I'm using it like an attractor. I've caught it on my dry line. I've caught them stripping it. I've caught them trolling it. It's it's basically an all around pattern. And reality being, we're really not into the time of the year where those bugs, where it's imitation is really prevalent. It's one of those patterns that kind of covers a bunch of different patterns. Yeah. Right? It's like the Doc Spratly. Like the Doc Spratly, which has the been killing it. Bugger. The woolly bugger. Yeah. You know, it's one of those patterns. Yeah. Not, hey, man, I'm going to try that too. Yeah. I, well, I've seen, I've got a couple of those in the box here. I'm going to try them. Okay. Well, the Zug Bug, guys, that's, that's what it's called. It's kind of a weird name. I, you know, I had never really, I'd heard of it, but never really checked into it before. But the having to use up this sword stuff, prompted a little bit of research and uh, that was one of the patterns that I really liked. It's one of those things that like you, you end up tying something like mallard flank is one of them. Yes. You end up tying lots with the big feathers and then you're left with all the tiny little stuff. Yeah. So you're like, how can I use this stuff? And you need to and use I like it. How, it's I expensive. Like your, I like your creativity there. Okay. Well, there, there we go. So, um, Let's give it a here. We're gonna go down. Okay. Give it a slow roll for us, buddy. Give it a slow roll. And this is this is pretty traditional. It is. Um, it's the it's the peacock sword, peacock body, with a uh, a mylar rib, and it's typically just three. It's not. You're not trying to do five. You're not trying to do this. The pattern was tied with three. These ones here, I think, are a little bit not as nicely done as they could be, um, but. There we go, and then uh, and then you've got a uh, a saddle, a brown saddle, for the uh, for the legs, and then uh, mallard mallard flank for the wing case on the top. Okay, get to her, buddy. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we're going. We gotta go. We gotta go. Okay. Every time you smack that counter, it's an earthquake in the camera. Yeah. We're zoomed in. Okay, so I'm tying it on a moose on a mustad. What is it? It's the S eighty two three nine zero six B. There you go. I'm really liking these hooks. They got a nice, it's a nice size. It's great for nymphs. We're gonna get that in the vise, and then we're gonna get our thread on. Oh no, we're gonna put our lead on wherever it is. Okay. You can tie this with lead or without lead because I'm using them possibly with my dry line as well. Um, I've been tying them with a little bit of weight, but as always, you can, you can, you can do it without the, without the lead. Get that on there like so. I'm gonna do one more wrap. Bring it up just a little bit further. Maybe Halfway into the second wrap there. Okay, there we go. So we got our lead on there. Don't want to drop the sword. We got our lead on there. And now we're going to tie that. Now we're going to just wrap it on. 
Sorry guys, there's a little bit of noise in the background. The store is still open and we've got some uh, customers that are needing some talking. attention. And they're talking. Lots. Yes, they are. Lots and very loud. Okay, so we're just going to get this lead cinched down. And then we're going to put on our peacock sword here. So, as you can tell, I'm getting pretty down there on this. It's, they're a little bit, little bit short, but I can still use them. The tail's not hugely long. And I don't want them to all be the same direction. So I'm going to mix them up a little bit. And I want it to be about two thirds of the length of the body. It's the J12 is the one you're going to want. Because it just kind of catches a little corner of it. And then it's kind of off. Tie that in. Yeah. What's, the, what's J12? And then we're going to tie on our Uni Mylar. In the original pattern, they didn't use the Uni Mylar because I don't think it was available. But what they did use was something like, like this, a micro tinsel. I don't like it as much. It's stronger. But the reality being about this fly is that it falls apart. So we're going to put the gold side up. Problem is that's so kind of... Yeah, you need J... You need J9 and J or I12 as well. Yeah. How's it looking, Ethan? Oh, it's looking great. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so this one. Okay, so we got our Uni Mylar on there. Now we're going to tie on our Peacock Curl. Now, as I said, this is not one of the strongest flies in the world. But the funny part is, no matter how shredded it seems to get, it still seems to want to catch fish. And I think that's the key. So we're going to get our... I have, I have four... Four strands of peacock. I was using a little bit more before when I was using my old peacock roll because it was so beat up. Yeah. yeah, like there's the old stuff, Ethan, right there. <laughs> See, there's the old package. Yeah? Doesn't, oh, yeah. doesn't even really look like peacock curl anymore. Kind of, but very beat up and in need of a new package. So I got one. And... Okay, so we're going to wrap the body. Don't be too fussy. I mean, you, you do want a, a nice taper. Those three maps? Yep. I got the whole collection of maps. New Zealand and... We're just dumb and online right now. Oh, That's okay. You're excited, I get it. New Zealand... Everybody's excited about maps, Brad. <laughs> okay, so we got our peacock curl on there. Now we're going to do up our rib, okay? So, as I said, you don't want a whole bunch of ribs. It's three. Probably a little nicer here, eh? Oh, definitely. Okay, so which one have you got here? Sure. That's J10. He doesn't need this one. There we go. Got that on there. Now we need to pot tie on our saddle feather. I also, I'm doing this with a brown saddle hackle. Um, I've been tying them, and I actually prefer them, and for myself personally. I've been using some Coke de Leon cape and I like the way it swims better. It swims fishier, does it? Yeah, like where, where's the Coke de Leon? This one's got Coke de Leon on it. Right there. Sort of see it. It's just a little bit, it's not as stiff, you know, flows a little bit more. But be because um, this is yeah. 
Okay, we got that saddle tied in there. Okay, and now we're going to do a couple wraps. I'm told for it to rock. I climbed the hill yesterday, out through the bush. Oh, the shirt was the bush. Oh, I have it. You know, that thing's made in Jamaica. <laughs> 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 yep, we don't need to. You don't need a whole bunch of legs. So easiest way for me is to just trim these babies off. Rather than folding them back, Ethan, yeah. you know what I mean? And then it's gonna screw up the start of my head here. So I'm just going to. No, this is just a searching pattern. <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to represent a cased <coughs> a caddis or a case caddis. Oh, okay. Is what is the description that I read? Yeah. Gotcha. But yes, it's a searching. I definitely it's a searching pattern or uh, an attractor pattern. You can go through here if you don't want all the legs on top. You can go through and you can trim a few of them off. Okay. Now we're gonna put on our mallard. So what we want to do here is just strip this back. We don't need the whole feather. We just want the tip. So I'm just getting it ready. Sounds like rat traps are getting set off. Yeah. Is that what they are? No, just a, just a stapler. Lock that baby in there. And I mean, you could you could fish it. You could have fished it without the, just the way it was, yeah. just the way it was sitting. It would fish well. You put this. You put the 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 mallard flank on there. Crazy you know what I don't have is I didn't I don't have a whip finish tool. It's in my box right there, Brad. Can you pass it to me, please? So yeah, that's you know we're basically done. We're gonna whip finish it here. Oh, there's my whip finishing tool that I'm missing. Oh my! I gave you your whip finishing tool already. That was last week or the week before. Okay. There you go. That part's done. Yeah, and now what we need, Ethan, is we need some head cement or some UV cure. Crazy in here today. You have some? I don't have any. Head cement box. Or UV cure. You got any? So you see that there? This is the mallard flank. Like I said, you could leave it just like that. The pattern, you take it and you just go bang straight across, kind of like that. Boom, done. Boom, boom, shalaka laka. Here, I'll take it. Okay, so here we're gonna go. I'll pretend I'm putting on head cement. <laughs> Good Whoa. Job. And now, and I'll use my UV cure. Actually, I'm using a UV cure. You can see I did it on on this one here. The UV cure there is with the UV head. I can't believe nobody here has any solar res of any sort here. It's all been put away. You showed up. Okay, I've showed up late. Okay, so there you go. I'll do a little small roll. Slow, slow roll, slow. Go slow. You know, I've always had a lot of luck. That's a beautiful. Uh, 
The Zug. Oh, yeah. I a lot of them. It is a beautiful fuck. Like, like I really like it. I like the simplicity of it. Did you fish the last one? That you had All of them are fish. That's the thing. Okay, because I was like, man, this yeah. Well, this one here solid. That one looks like it was fish. Well, this one here has caught a fish, and so what happens is why I'm saying they don't last long. Fish pulls on it, starts pulling the uni mylar down. As you as you guys can tell, it's pretty busy down here right now. Um, here's one, here's one, another one that's been fished, but it's with a with a pink rib. And now it looked like it was working pretty damn good. Well, I have one that the tail stripped, the ribbing's gone, and all that really is left is the hackle and and the peacock curl. So it's like a hackle and peacock curl, and it's still catching fish. Hey, it's it's busy down here okay. right now. We're down at Spud Valley Sporting Goods, 1380 Birch Street. Come on down, get your fish on. Get your fish on. That's right. Meet the boys. Friday nights. We tie flies. That's right. We tie flies, and uh, and then we go fishing right afterwards. Are you coming with us tonight, Scotty? Well, I don't know. I'm seeing. I'll see you. Okay. You better okay. have your own okay. life jacket, boy. Yeah. I didn't bring one for your okay. skinny ass. <laughs> okay. Well, there you guys go. Hey, you're up top. Okay. Friday night flies with the boys that tie flies. Until next time, bang. Friday night flies would like to thank the following sponsors. Superfly, Solarez, Chinook Wind Outfitters, Dr. Slick, Griffin, Stonefoe.